At some point in caravan ownership, you're going to need to jack your caravan up, either to perform some maintenance on your wheels or your hubs, or if uh, you have a flat tyre and you're stuck on the side of the road. At some point, you're going to need to jack the van up. Now, online and on YouTube, there's lots of videos on different jacking systems that you can purchase, adopt and adapt your van. Um, if, like mine, however, you haven't got any of those jacking points, where do you jack the caravan? And moreover, how do you jack the caravan in a safe, controlled manner? Well, Tom and I are up here today at the storage site and we're going to show you how to jack a caravan up. We're going to assume that you need to change a wheel. Um, we don't actually need to, but we're going to go through the motions anyway. And uh, we're going to show you how to do it. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to raise all the steadies up on the caravan. The steadies are not jacking points. They're not connected to your chassis. They're not connected to anything. They're probably just connected to the floor. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to raise all the steadies off the floor. The second thing we need to ensure is that the car is connected to the caravan. When we jack a caravan up with the brakes on, we're going to effectively lift one side of the caravan. And that means that the only thing touching the floor with a brake on it is the wheel the other side of the caravan. Now, when we start to jack, the caravan's gonna to want to swing. So by connecting the car with the brakes on, and if you have an automatic, make sure it's in park and the brakes are on, um, with the car connected, the caravan is not going to move, it's not going to swing around. The third thing we need to do is we need to chock the wheel the other side of the caravan as well. So basically the wheel that we're not going to uh, jack up, we need to go and chock that. So let's go and do all of those things now. Okay, so now we've got all of those things done. Final sanity check. We need to make sure that nobody's in the van, of course. Nothing's gonna to topple over and fall over uh, when we start to lift. Um, and so we're just gonna make a quick sanity check and make sure that we've done all of those safety things. So the wheel is chocked. The handbrake is on in the caravan. We're connected to the car. The handbrake is on in the car. And we're also in park. Make sure that is the case if you have an automatic. And all the steadies are up. So let me just take a moment here to talk about uh, the jacks which you can use. Um, this is one from the car, this is a scissor jack. It's used for the car um, and it may not be suitable for use on the caravan. Um, the thing to do is to check what the weight allowance is on this jack. This one here is rated for uh, 1200 kilograms, which means that this would be okay for our caravan. Our caravan is 1485 MT PLM. Um, and we're only going to lift half the caravan, so 14.85 divided by 2 is well under the 1200 rating of this scissor jack. I would recommend we don't use this though, because this is designed for the car. It's going to slip um, because there's nowhere for it to grip. As you can see, it's just a smooth surface. It's also notoriously uh, unstable, um, and uh, I would recommend that we just don't use this at all when jacking a caravan. The other option is you have a bottle jack and this is a hydraulic bottle jack um, this one can lift four tons of weight again. so what you would do is you'd literally just pump away and as you can see the little uh, piston comes out the top which is fantastic and you just keep pumping like this and it will just lift all day long and then when you're finished and you want to wind it down you use the valve here open the valve and press down with your thumb that's it so this is the one we're going to use today Make sure I seal that up for you, Tom. We're going to use this one today. So let's get onto the van and uh, put it in place and lift the caravan. So this is the wheel that we're going to lift. And if we look underneath the van itself, you can see that we've got two holes, one here and one here. And you can buy from Alco and other manufacturers an add-on kit which allows you and gives you a jacking point. Now, I haven't got that installed on this caravan. It's something I probably will do at a later date, but that gives you a jacking point. What you do not want to do, under no circumstances, do you want to jack up on this chassis rail. There are only two places that we can jack up with, and that is right behind the wheel. 
and I'm going to manoeuvre the camera and show you exactly where we can jack up. So there's two places we can jack up against deep behind the wheel. We can jack up at the very end of the axle tube right there. And the other place we can jack up against is there's a bracket which just cools underneath the chassis rail. There you go, that looks good. Is there that? Yeah. Okay. Always is out my neck. That's a better job. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> okay, and there we go, that's him off the floor now. Uh, it's obviously not miles up in the air, but it's enough for us to get that wheel off. Okay, so there's a couple important things to note um, when jacking up. Now, Tom found it quite difficult getting the hydraulic pump up um, because the motor mover was in the way, so we didn't have enough leverage to get the actual pump up. The second thing to note as well is that it's not an easy job to do. It's quite difficult. Um, you found it quite hard because you couldn't actually see what you were doing. No. So it was all by feel. So that's how you would uh, jack the caravan. Um, if we were changing the wheel, what we would have done to start with is uh, loosen the wheel nuts on the wheel first, then um, when it was off the floor, taking the wheel nuts off, change the tyre, etc. Thing to make sure is when you put a tyre back on, make sure you torque it up to the correct settings on your caravan. Um, we would need to torque that up now as well. Do you think it would be better if we had the jacking point installed? Yes. So do you think that's something we should go and purchase? Yes. I think you're right. It, it shows you that it can be done without the add-on um, kit. It's not an easy job to do. It would be infinitely easier if we had the jacking kit supplied by Alco. Um, if you're a little bit unsure, I would say don't do it at all. Um, get a professional or somebody who's done it many times before in to do it for you. Um, because there's a lot of considerations here and uh, at the end of the day you're dealing with uh, the safety of your caravan and the safety of yourself. So, uh, so there we go. So I hope that's been informative for you. Um, any questions let us know below. I think uh, we'll go and have a cup of tea now. What do you reckon? Good plan. Good plan. We'll catch you in the next one guys. See you soon. Bye.